What's up guys, Tony here. I got a tip from a tipster, Extreme Vintage, check out his channel. But there are some $5 PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, um, and some Wii games here. So we're gonna check out to see what we find. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, I did pretty dang good in there. And I ended up spending about 130 bucks or so. And yeah, I think I did pretty well. Some is gonna be added to the collection. Some I'm gonna sell at Missouri Game Con 2020. So let's get into it. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a racing simulator. <laughs> And some of these are pretty cool titles that I'll keep in my collection. Like I said, Batman, The Enemy Within, Telltale series. Um, I almost bought every copy of this just because. And I actually bought some Xbox One games, um, even though I don't own an Xbox One at all. King's Quest. I know this came out on the PlayStation 4. And I wish they would have had it on the PlayStation 4, but uh, I love King's Quest. And I may or may not keep that one. We'll see. This again, another 360 game. Not 360, Xbox One. Wow. Micro Machines, they did not have the PlayStation 4 version. And I wish they did, because I have been looking for this one. I've been wanting to play it. I love this series. I loved it back in the day on the NES and on the Sega Genesis. For Honor, Marching Fire Edition. And I actually downloaded this. Uh, PlayStation Plus, they had this. I have it downloaded. So, yeah, to have the physical is pretty cool. I'll probably end up keeping that. Uh, Siberia 3. And the odd thing is I own this already. I believe I own it on the PC and uh, 360, could be mistaken. So that will stay in the collection. Another Xbox One game, Metal Gear Solid 5. This is the, the complete edition. I will not open this, I will keep this. This will stay in my collection. Again, no Xbox One, but still really cool. This was awesome, and I knew I had to get it. Bendy and the Ink Machine. I've been looking at trying to get it. $5 is perfect. GameStop, I still think it's like $20 to $30, so that's a steal. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan. I have never played this. I've never seen gameplay of it, but I'm a huge Turtles fan. That's staying in the collection for sure. It's kind of strange art there, but kind of cool. Um, they had some Wii U stuff too. And I got Terraria. I think that's how you say it. I may or may not have this. If I already own it, I'm going to sell it at Missouri Game Con. And uh, Wii U stuff is getting harder and harder to find. They had more kind of common stuff in there. They had... Um, just Dance 2017 and 2018. Uh, Pix Arc. Know nothing about it. It looks interesting. I'll try it out. Kind of looks like Minecraft a little bit. We'll try it out, I guess. Snail. This was the find for me, at least, for $5. Because this game came out this year. Team Sonic Racing, and uh, I was gonna get it at release, and it was only like 40 bucks, but still, $5, perfect price, 
Can't wait to try it. I have not played this yet, so we'll see. Oh, I did buy another copy of it. There's Batman, The Enemy Within. Another copy. Hello Neighbor, Hide and Seek. Know nothing about this game. Nothing at all. Um, I might even end up giving this one to Stevie. We'll see. I don't even think he has a PlayStation 4. A few more games here. I got a lot of games. So this is a Zombie U. Wii U. And uh, I have this game already. So this will be a Missouri Game Con candidate. For sure. Uh, the little bit of Wii U stuff that I brought to the con was snatched up in a hurry. So yeah. Uh, Stern Pinball Arcade. I have this on the Switch, oddly enough, but I couldn't pass on getting a copy on the PlayStation 4 because I really enjoy this game. It's awesome. For digital pinball, at least. This was really cool. Dragon Quest Heroes 2. I believe this game came out this year. I could be wrong. Nope, 2017. But still, a Dragon Quest game. Pretty cool. Um, Naruto Shinobi Striker. Know nothing about this game. This may be a Missouri Game Con candidate. I don't know. I might even just give it to Bubby. He likes Naruto. Um, Inside Limbo. Don't know what the heck this is. It is a 505 game. Or games. So we'll try it out. I do like smaller kind of indie titles so we'll see this was cool i have this on the wii u mighty number no. nine five dollars is about what you should pay for it now the label is a little messed up but i will end up opening that one and just a couple more titles here i got prey that's probably a missouri game con candidate as well we'll see this was radical to me i'm glad i did not buy this brand new well i did buy it brand new see it's brand new but when it first came out shadow of the colossus i've been looking to get this game at the right price and uh, i guess i luck i lucked out and got it for five bucks and then one two more games here they're the same game um, Lumi's Electronic Symphony PS Vita and I'm going to try to snatch up as much Vita stuff as possible I already own this um, and I'm going to be selling these two copies at Missouri Game Con so yeah I got a really 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 good haul thank you Extreme Vintage and check out your Walmarts when they're remodeling which that's what they did they remodeled their entire electronic department that's a tip Go and check out their games. Uh, on occasion, they'll have a huge, quote-unquote, fire sale. And I think I did really good. I mean, I paid 130 bucks for all this. And you got to keep in mind that some of these games you were going to spend 40 to $60 brand new. And this is an absolute steal. I mean, I haven't done the math yet. But, yeah, pretty cool. I mean, adding to the collection, adding to the Missouri Game Con pile... And, um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably live stream some of these games, too. And more than enough games for me on the PlayStation 4. Maybe I'll do a PlayStation 4 collection video. You thought the video was over. Psych! I actually ended up buying some retro video games. I'm going to show you guys my pickups. So, I actually ended up getting this from a local collector. I've actually done numerous deals with him in the past. And he hit me up, and he's like, are you interested in any of these games? And I said, sure, let's wheel and deal, let's make a deal, and let's see. So, um, yes, I I have a 3DO here in the background, I'll show that off here in a second. But he also gave me some really strange stuff that's like kind of off the wall with this this collection, this set. Uh, GameCube, Waybird, no receiver. Still, they go for a good amount online. I will probably sell that one. Um, 
Spy versus Spy. This is a, a Hue card for the Sega Master System. And uh, I love Spy versus Spy. Uh, the, the NES game, I actually really, really like it. So that may or may not stay in the collection. The Ninja. Let's see. It's not complete. But pretty good shape here. Uh, the case itself is a little beat up. Uh, hang on, Safari Hunt, Black Belt, I've actually played that, it's not that good, so, whatever. Now this will stay in my collection, regardless of what I sell here, what I trade in here. Uh, this is the Power Base Converter, I've been looking for one of these for a decent amount, and you can play Sega Master games, Sega Master System games, on your Sega Genesis. And uh, you just plop it on to your system right here. And uh, it'll actually play the card games as well. So you can just insert it here. Um, yeah, so pretty cool to have one of these. I've been looking for one for a good price. So that's awesome. I actually almost bought one at Missouri GameCon. So uh, let's look at the 3DO stuff. Um, so this is Family Feud. He said that it's just the case. Uh, the manual is in there. So it's just the case. Maybe I'll track it down. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Um, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And man, uh, it's a little on the beat up side. Um, oh man. But there it is. So it is a little beat up. Maybe I should have looked at it a little bit closer in the picture. Maybe I should ask more questions. Oh well. Um, here's Samurai Showdown. And I actually really like these long boxes. Even though they're like not necessary at all. I mean honestly you, you would just need like a PlayStation 1 case. Similar to this. But I don't know. They wanted all this cardboard I guess to sell. To make it eye popping. Um, Need for Speed 1, so this is the original, and these cases are a little bit nicer. They they kind of remind me of PlayStation 1 long box games, so yeah, it's complete. It, it looks beautiful. Um, I don't think I own this one. This is like a must-have for the system. Road Rash, um, and from what I understand... It's actually better than the PlayStation version. Um, I, I don't know. I might have to try them out side by side. I also got this behemoth. <laughs> Just... I feel like Pee Wee Herman pulling out like a big box or something. But uh, Lethal Enforcers on the Sega Genesis. And uh, let's see if it's complete. I'm pretty sure it is. It has... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Justifier. The funny thing is, I just picked up a Justifier um, this summer from myself, my collection. And that's a really beautiful, beautiful cart. The manual's inside. So, yeah, this... And I have the box. I actually don't have the game. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to track down the game loose for my collection and uh, probably end up selling this at Missouri Game Con so we'll see that's actually really really cool and that box is actually I think in better shape than mine and then last but not least oh, this thing's a behemoth I got the Panasonic this is the FZ1 version 3DO and uh, this thing was like a colossal failure not as bad as a CDI. Um, I've actually seen more of these in the wild than CDIs, if you will. But, um, yeah, this thing is, is heavy. And I may or may not open this up and show you guys what's inside. But pretty good price on all this stuff. And this will be a candidate for Missouri Game Con. And what I mean by that is I, I plan on having another vendor table, vendor sponsorship table. It was an absolute blast doing that. Check out my video on that. Um, but 
We're also going to see, it says bonus software included crash and burn. We're going to see if that's inside here or not. And yeah, there's some stickers on here. Special pack, limited offer while supplies last, Madden. So I guess you could have got Madden with this at one point in time. I know that these, they had like a fire sale on these way back in the day, just like any other failed console. But uh, we'll, we'll take a look. We'll, we'll open this thing up and see what's inside. So let's take a look. So here's what's inside. I'll show you the system itself. So I'm not going to get that hunking thing out. Uh, the power cord is down in there. You can see it down below. And yeah, the, the styrofoam's a little broken, but that's not too upsetting, I guess. And it has the original cardboard for the other cables and the controller. So that's a bonus. I'm not sure what this is. Must be some kind of an adapter of some sort. Yeah, it's an adapter. So let's take a look, see what's inside here. 10 reasons why you need another 3DO game. How about 10 reasons why you don't need to buy the 3DO? Here's the business stuff. Which you always get packed in. Crash and burn. So there's that. Um, I'm curious if it's in here. I haven't looked. Here's like a little brochure. Or is it like a poster? Yeah, it's a poster. I'm not going to open that thing up. Because I had so much trouble putting them back the right way. The warranty stuff. So it looks like all of it's here. Join the club. 3DO club. Huh. That's kind of cool. And then your instruction manual. And that's in really good shape. Another little instruction guide. So yeah, the box is okay. It's a little dinged up in areas, but from the 90s, it's still okay. And yeah, so retro game hunting is not very hard for me anymore, especially when people hit me up all the time. So uh, what do you guys think of the 3DO system? Are there any good games on there? Um, do you have one in your collection? Do you want one in your collection? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day.